Hello and welcome back to Crypto Novos, where news becomes masters. My name is Chris Brown and I'm the host. I wanted to do a quick video on AMP. Uh, I'm a believer in AMP and I've done some videos. I did a video before in terms of a price prediction back in February. It has got a lot of reviews and a lot of you in the Crypto Novos community have been asking me to do somewhat of an update. So today is that day. So let's take a look and see what hap has happened to AMP in the month of April. It started off April at around just a little over three cents around the first of the month. And then as Bitcoin went up in the middle of the month, so did AMP. I mean, it started to rise here on the 13th, which was the day uh, around the day that Bitcoin started to do its surge up to about 60, 60 almost 65,000. AMP actually, in fact, with all the way up to almost seven cents, it's about like 6.9. I've showed a six and a half cents and the reason why is because as you kind of take a look and see what it's done for the month, uh, it actually finished April at about five and a half cents. Um, on the template, I know I basically indicated that for, for the month of April, uh, six cents was really kind of a good number for AMP. And if you kind of take a look at where six cents is at, that's pretty much where it peaked at, with a solid wick on the candle. Uh, when Bitcoin took its dip uh, to around the, the, you know, the week of the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, AMP did as well. It actually went down as far as 0.38 cents, just a little under four, but it found good support here at 4.5 cents. So back in April, excuse me, back in February, it was as low as just under three cents. I made, that's when I made the video. I said, buy the dip, buy the dip. And it stayed down there for a little while, uh, but now it's up and it has... You know, since in since the beginning of the month, it's almost doubled in price, uh, which is really strong. Here we are in May right now, just the first day, and it's really pressing up against that six cents mark. It's sitting here. It's wicked up as far, as close as you know, 0 0.05 cents. Um, it's really hugging closely uh, the 20 EMA, as you can kind of see here when it came down and then spiked up, came back, went a little bit below it, and then it's, it's above it now. So that's all really good signs for it. The other thing I want to point out is back in February, when I did the price prediction at that time, there was 19.3 billion amp, which had been staked. And the total value of, of amp on the Flexa network was a little over 638 hundred million dollars. So let's take a look at where it's at today. And I think those of us that are supportive of this project will be pleasantly surprised. So here we go. And so this is present capacity and ta-da. So we are at $23.2 billion, excuse me, 23.2 billion amp that have been staked on the Flexa network. And the total value of that right now is actually 1.3, a little over $1.3 billion. So that's a really good success story for AMP. And a lot of this is ha has really occurred in the month of April based on how the price has increased. The other thing I wanna quickly point out to you is uh, I f as I'm going through uh, the website and learning more information about AMP, and I'll get more into that in a second. One of the things I came across was this item here. And for those of you that are in development may already know about it, but uh, the AMP token is an ERC-20 compliant token with the Ethereum network. Uh, and this is the actual AMP token contract address, which is sitting right here. And for those of you that are interested in this information, that's important for you to know, uh, because there had been, I guess, in the past, uh, they wanted you to be aware that there may have been some fraud, fraud uh, fraudsters, as they call them, um, trying to offer you something different. So I just kind of wanted to make the community aware of that. And, th and that's really the important aspect of, of any particular crypto project, having a really strong community that's kind of watching out for each other. With that having been said, uh, these are ways that you can get additional information on AMP is through the Discord, the Twitter, and then GritHub. I actually have joined the Discord and are following it. So let me just go to there. And I was playing on this today and it's been pretty active all day. There was at 1.4 administrators and about the same amount of people all day long, around 450 people that have been on the channel. Uh, the one thing that I've, I've just joined it uh, and really started getting into it and using it, there's a lot of good information on here. 
Uh, the little emoji that I used in the uh, the template post uh, came from here, uh, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but the really the thing that I found really interesting is a lot of conversations on the functionality of AMP, how to use it, how to stake it, and I think the next video that I'll do will be on staking. Uh, for again, since I've just kind of shown you what has been staked and there are rewards attached to that, so I want to really dive into that, have a really good, clear understanding. So with that, I want to create the video. It's, you know, really clear for you guys. But the one thing I wanted to point out is this little post right here that talks about adoption and use. It just says, I just spent bat tokens with Gemini Pay at Bed Bath & Beyond and Dunkin', I'm assuming Dunkin' Donuts. It was quick. I just had an issues at Beth, Bed Bath & Beyond because the cashier didn't want to scan as a gift card and said they didn't, they didn't accept it. So they had to get the manager. The manager basically cleared it up and they were able to use it. So um, that's one example. And these are things, these experiences that people are having in various aspects of either using AMP or developing it come up here in the Discord. And it's really nice, as well as, you know, getting other announcements and things of that nature. So uh, I will be coming back and forth and probably be bringing you more content on AMP coming from this exact platform here. So for those of you that don't know, I want to go quickly to the currencies that are presently used on um, with AMP. So there's Celo Dollar, Dai, Gemini Dollar. And when you come to the website and you click, click onto this link more about page, that actually takes you to that particular token or digital assets website. So you can learn more specifically about that. Uh, but here's the supported digital tokens. So you see Bath that's sitting there. There's Comp, Link, uh, LRC. And then these are the additional supported cryptocurrencies, Algorand, Bitcoin, of course, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Litecoin, and Zcash. So, um, so that's kind of it on AMP today. Just wanted to, to bring that to your attention. The other thing I'd like to really quickly show you is this is the little emoji that I kind of put on the template. And uh, I thought it was kind of cute, kind of showing how superior AMP is and the interest in AMP. Um, and then the last thing I want to bring to your attention is, of course, the new book uh, that I've written, basically called The Crypto Novo Scriptionary. And it's just crypto lingo for newbies that are new to the space and don't understand the acronyms or uh, some of the definition and the terms. And so I've kind of compiled this. It is going to become available later on in May. We're just doing the finishing touches right now and getting it ready for print and for becoming an ebook. So when that gets all completed, I will definitely put together a special video to tell you how you can get a hold of it in the Crypto Novus community for free. Um, and then, of course, where you can buy for those of you that just want to buy it. So that is it for today. Uh, it is Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your evening. You guys be blessed. And I'll see you in the next video.